Welcome back, everyone. In today's lesson, we are going to do maps and plans. So under maps and plans, I want us to look at a number scale and a bar scale. So now we're going to start with a number scale. Let me write it here, number scale. So I have a number scale of one is to 50,000. So I want us to start by learning how to interpret a scale. Now you look at one is to 50,000. The one here is a map distance and the 50,000 is a real distance or actual distance. So what the scale means is that one unit on the map represents 50,000 units on the ground or in real life. So if you're using centimeters, you say one unit, one centimeter actually on the map represents 50,000 centimeters on the ground. So let's say we are given two places on the map that we need to measure. I'll just label them point A and point B. Let's say, for an example, the distance between these two places when we measure on the paper or on the map is 12 centimeters. Let's say we get 12 centimeters. It means this distance it's a map distance that we measured using a ruler. It's a map distance. So if the question says, calculate the actual distance, it means you multiply the real part of the scale, which is the 50,000 year, multiplied by the map distance that you measured using a ruler. So you're going to start with the map distance and you're going to say, it's 12 centimeters, that is your map distance, times 50,000 units. So you're going to say 12, 12 here. Let me just clear this first. I'm going to clear this. So it's going to be 12 times 50. So we've got 600,000 there. So it's going to give us 600,000 centimeters. So normally they will ask us to give the answer in kilometers. So I just want us to take something that we, we're going to use to convert. You need to know your conversions. You need to know your conversions. So if you're going to convert from centimeters to kilometers it means you are going to divide you're going to move from here to here to this point so it means you are going to divide by 100 first and then you divide by a thousand so it means you're going to divide by a total of a hundred thousand so here we'll say six hundred thousand divided by 100,000. So we're going to get six kilometers. So this six kilometers will be our actual distance, our actual distance or actual length. So let's say we take another example on this. For an example here, we have a question which says you measure the distance between two buildings on a map to be 10 centimeters. So since the distance on the map is 10 centimeters, this becomes our map distance. So our map distance, our map distance equals 10 centimeters. And then again here, they gave us a scale. They said a scale of one is to one 
is to 200. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to multiply the map distance, which is 10 centimeters, times the 200, which is the real part of the scale. So it's 10 centimeters times 200. We get 2,000 centimeters. So they said we need to write the answer or calculate the answer in meters. In meters. So we need to allow the question to guide us all the time. We need to allow the question to guide us. They said answer should be in meters. So it means we're going to convert from meters from we're going to convert from centimeters to meters we divide by 100 we divide by 100 so we're going to get 20 meters so now moving on i want us to do a bar scale i want us to do a bar scale here let me write it here bar scale so let's say we are given an example of a bar scale that is from zero to five kilometers so the first thing when you are working with a bar scale is that you need to convert it to a, a, a ratio scale so first thing you convert the bar scale Bar scale to a ratio scale to a ratio scale and then afterwards then you do the calculations so how are we going to convert the bar scale into a ratio scale you need to measure the length of a bar scale using a ruler so you get the map length of a bar scale so let's say for an example we get that the map length of a bar scale it's four centimeters. When we measure from this point here to this point here. So now we equate the two distances. We'll say four centimeters of the bar scale equals to five kilometers, which is the real distance of the bar scale or real length of the bar scale. So now after we've equated these two numbers, we change one unit to be like the other. So here, we're going to maintain the four centimeters and then change the five kilometers into centimeters. So we're going to multiply it by a thousand first to convert it into meters and then multiply it by a hundred to convert it into centimeters. So four centimeters equals 500,000 centimeters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by the smaller number, divide both sides by the smaller number. The smaller number is four centimeters. So I'm going to divide both sides by four centimeters, this side. One is two. So if I divide here the 500,000 on my calculator by four, we get 125,000. So it's going to, it was one twenty five thousand. So let's say for an example, they said use your ruler to accurately measure the distance between two places, and then let's say the distance between two places. Let's say we've got two places here. Again, I'll label this as C and D. Let's say the distances between. The, the, the distance between C and D is 6,8 centimeters. So if this is 6,8 centimeters, this is a map distance. So it's like going back to using the, the ratio scale and indeed it is a ratio scale. So now we multiply here the map length or map distance multiplied by the real part of the of the ratio scale so we will say again 6,8 centimeters times 125,000 so we're going to use our calculator here 125,000 times 
comma eight. We get eight hundred and fifty thousand. So it's eight hundred and fifty thousand. Eight hundred and fifty thousand centimeters. So now let's say for an example, they said we need to write it in kilometers. We are going to divide everything by hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. So it's going to be 850,000 divided by 100,000. Divide here by 100,000 equals 8,5. So the distance between point C and D is 8,5 kilometers. So this is the actual distance. So the trick here is that with the bar scale, you need to convert it first to a ratio scale. And then after you have a ratio scale, you can calculate your actual distance. 